This is meteorologist Mark Molnar. I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Eastern and Hurricane Eastern. We have a lot to talk about. World of Tropics. We got Hurricane Larry. We're also in watching Vest 91L that will be emerging into the Gulf of Mexico. We do have the potential for some development going on over the next several days. It will be a very slow mover, so we'll have a lot of time to watch this. Also, the rest of the tropics staying very active as well. We'll go over that, and we'll go over your Labor Day outlook, what that means for you for this Labor Day weekend. As always, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the bell button so you're alerted when I come out with one of these videos. Comment section down below. We do have timestamps if you want to skip ahead to your favorite section. We have the Hurricane 2021 Outlook video outlook that I posted a couple months back. That's still valid, so go ahead and take a look at that if you haven't already. Smash the like button. Also, don't forget question or comment down below if you wish or desire. Let's get on with it. And Invest 91L here in the Gulf. Right now it is in Belize in the southern Yucatan Peninsula, but this system will be emerging into the southwest part of the Gulf of Mexico Sunday, Monday, and eventually recurving as very weak steering currents take hold Tuesday into Wednesday and eventually Thursday. So this system could become potentially our next name storm now not all the models are on board with the system they all bring it in this general direction but not all of them develop it in fact i'll be going over all of the model data here for you momentarily so uh, the gfs is quickly more um more robust with this system than any of the other models so let's take a look taking a look at the rest of the tropics as a whole here we have hurricane larry out here into the central Atlantic moving to the northwest will achieve category four status quite easily, probably between 140, 150 mile per hour winds. System will be guided by that upper level low uh, just east of the Bahamas will help uh, steer the system as long as well as a high to the northeast, a strong high. And there's Invest 91L here in the Gulf of Mexico. This could potentially start developing by September 7th or September 8th of this coming week here. So I put this system at about a 60% chance of development. I'd like to see more models on board to even push this up higher. But at this point, this is what I'm thinking. Taking a look at the infrared satellite picture for the Gulf of Mexico. Most of the Gulf of Mexico looking pretty clear as a bell right now, but look at this. Your eyes are drawn to Invest 91L here. This is Belize, Then you have the rest of the Yucatan Peninsula here. This system really holding on really well. We'll continue to move across the Yucatan Peninsula and emerging right here into the Gulf of Mexico uh, towards Labor Day, and then slowly recurving and eventually potentially some development here as I'll go over with some of the modeling. If we take a look at the rest of the Atlantic, there is Hurricane Larry, a very strong hurricane on its way to becoming a Category 4. We have another tropical wave out here in the intertropical conversion zone we'll watch that just came off the coast of Africa. Some shower and thunderstorm activity down here off the coast of South America, but there's Invest 90 one L. Nothing else to look at here. Alright, we're taking a look at the GFS here. Saturday morning, still uh, down in the Yucatan here for the Invest 91L low pressure system. But it's later on Monday, Labor Day. We start to see some sort of low pressure start to form here. Lots of the shower and thunderstorm activity on the east side. And it's not until Tuesday. Here we go. We're just south of Morgan City, Louisiana. We start to have some really deep moisture start to entrain here, just south of Louisiana. And then we get during the day on Wednesday, a closed off low starts to form here, just back towards the west of all this shower and thunderstorm activity. This is not good news for places that were hit by Hurricane Ida with all that torrential rainfall. And then we head later into Thursday. This really starts to develop. You notice how slow it's moving. The steering currents will be very slow and very weak during this time so the system will slowly meander ever so slightly to the east look at this by friday barely moving from where it was later wednesday into thursday uh, lots of uh, development here according to the gfs and a potential landfall here in the panhandle florida near panama city on uh, late friday early saturday so we'll have to watch for that are the other models are they on board with this not exactly it's a general direction here by the Canadian. On Tuesday, you see some sort of low pressure system a little bit further to the east than the GFS, but it never really develops it fully as of yet. So we'll have to watch this scenario play out. The euro is also um, kind of in that general uh, direction here. You don't really see it um, 
at any point really closing off as a low pressure system. So we'll we'll watch it here at Hurricane Eastern. There we go. We're taking a look at Hurricane Larry. Here it is out here into the Central Atlantic, becoming on its way to becoming a very major hurricane. The upper level low just to the west here uh, by about the time of Tuesday. This will help steer it with high pressure on the northeast side. Brings it very close to Bermuda here. You see back here we have Invest 92L potentially becoming something as well. This trough of low pressure really kicking in. If it's a little bit too late, we say it's back here. This would allow Larry to become closer to the U.S. East Coast and maybe threaten Southeast Canada. But so far, look at that. It brings it just off Southeast Canada here. If we take a look at the Canadian, a very similar picture here. We see here it is Saturday into Sunday. That upper level low handling it pretty much like the GFS, high pressured on the northeast side. And then we slowly just near miss it again, just like the GFS, just east of Bermuda. And then we head it up. Trough of low pressure in a very similar location to the GFS, just off of southeast Canada by about the time Sunday. And then we head into the European model here. As you can see, this system just east, closer to Bermuda. So we're going to have to watch Bermuda here. It is uh, still on the western side, according to the Euro. And then just off of next Saturday here, Friday night, Saturday, just off the southeast coast of Canada. So a lot can happen between now and then. Stay tuned. And we're looking at precipitation totals. This is pretty much out of the GFS. Yeah, the midsection of the country up to the northeast. We will be getting those systems that move through. Uh, the, big, the big fanfare here is the north central Gulf. See that Gulf moisture coming up there? That's associated with Invest 91L. This takes us all the way through about late Wednesday of next week. So we have that plume of moisture, uh, heavier rain. This will only get heavier as the models continue to get a better handle on this. Uh, but we could be having some heavy rain into parts of Louisiana, southern Mississippi, coastal Alabama, into the extreme western panhandle of Florida. Upper air pattern across North America. We kind of flip-flop things here from the previous uh, week. We have a trough really kicking in across the northeast and the east, making conditions fall-like, especially to start your Labor Day weekend, so it's going to feel a bit chilly. Will be good for sleeping, though. And then out west here, there's that proverbial ridge continuing to start to build again, uh, turning really hot here across, the, especially the desert southwest, eastward into Texas, and then all the way up into Illinois there. And look at that. All the way up to the Pacific Northwest, we see warm conditions prevailing. Saturday across the Northeast, another very beautiful day. High pressure crusting overhead of the St. Lawrence Valley in the northern Adirondacks. This really starts to pinwheel some warmer air on the backside. Places like Pittsburgh, Erie, and Buffalo getting into the upper 70s. Binghamton not looking bad at 74, 73 in Albany, 76 in the Big Apple. If you get out there and enjoy it, really nice this time of year. 81 in D.C., 77 in Boston. So most places looking good. Maybe a stray shower later in the day. Places like Lake Erie, Lake Ontario region. And here it is, Saturday across the southeast. That stalled front kind of is on the move again. It's in South Florida for the most part now. We do have high pressure building in across the Carolinas. Heat is on in Houston at 98. Look at that Nashville scattered showers and thunderstorms by late day. And that's pretty much the only major area. Although it's not that major, you're in the light green. You're only a 20 to 30% chance here. So no major organized areas of severe weather. This is good news. Kind of getting into a quieter pattern, at least for the time being. And temperatures will be on the rise. And here we are Sunday across the northeast. We have the cold front moving in. We have a better chance of uh, kind of like a washout type of day here. Not torrential rain, but it's pretty much going to be a most of day event, 60 to 70 percent, especially in the darker green shading there around Binghamton, Syracuse, Albany, uh, Harrisburg, Pittsburgh, State College, especially around the Binghamton, Scranton area. This is definitely more like an all day type of event here. So if you have outdoor plans, it's not the best day. You're better off choosing either Saturday, the best day or a Labor Day Monday, the second best day here. So there you have it. And across the southeast, look at this. Stalled front continues in South Florida. High pressure crusting overhead in northern Florida before the next cold front. Look at that. Moving through Nashville. It's on the move. This is a very weak front, though. It's the same front that will be moving through the northeast on Sunday. So I'm not looking at any major large-scale areas of severe weather. In fact, we'll be looking at temperatures uh, soaring. Look at that. Houston at 99, 91 in New Orleans. 88 in Atlanta, 
But other than that, we don't have too much to talk about at the moment, so hold on to that thought for a moment here. And across the northeast for your Labor Day, look at this, Monday. Looking pretty good as the cold front starts to kick out. We still will still have that instability across upstate New York, northern Pennsylvania, into northern New England here. Maybe a 20 to 30% chance of a shower. No thunderstorms. This is good. So if you have outdoor plans in the green zone, don't cancel them. You'll be fine. You just watch out for a shower or two. But for the most part, it's not going to be an all-day event by any means. And then look at that really dry places like New York City, Atlantic City, DC, and Harrisburg. Really Boston up to a pretty nice day here for your Labor Day. And here it is across the southeast. This is uh I we're not going to have any landfalling tropical systems on Labor Day itself. This is great news, especially after what we just dealt with in Louisiana, New Orleans, and Mississippi. However, I do want to put that out there watching the tropics. We are in watching Invest 91L that is out there right now. It's down in the Caribbean. It'll continue to move to the northwest across the Yucatan and eventually into the western Gulf of Mexico. Now, by this time, it'll still be off the screen, but this has the potential to become our next name system. The Canadian model is definitely grabbing a hold of this. This is to note because the Canadian did very well with Hurricane Ida. It did better than most of the other models. GFS is right behind a little bit in the Canadian model. It's still showing something there. So we're going to continue to watch it here. And it is interesting to see uh, that we'll have potentially something going on here. So if you live in the western Gulf of Mexico, please, please stay tuned, especially next week. And Tuesday across the northeast, we're not looking too bad here. In fact, most of the areas from the coast... Anywhere to westward to Interstate 81 in the northeast here will be mostly dry. It's basically the lower Great Lakes. Uh, we will have the next system starting to approach the region. So we have a better chance of some late day showers and thunderstorms across Buffalo, Erie, Toronto area. Especially where you get into western New York, northwestern Pennsylvania, northeastern Ohio, and southern Ontario. Temperatures will be on the rise as well. Mid to upper 70s is the rule. And then look at along the coastline, everybody getting into the 80s. And Tuesday across the southeast, this is the big day uh, where we could start to really see the development of Invest 91L here in the central Gulf. At this point, it'll be moving. It'll be somewhere south of Louisiana or Mississippi, somewhere in this region. Um, so we'll start to see some showers, especially along the Gulf Coast regions from Panama City over to New Orleans. And we'll start to really see uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday as the rainfall really starts to pick up here somewhere along the north central Gulf Coast, somewhere between New Orleans and Panama City. That's probably where we're looking at this system really starting to affect here and this is not really that great of news so stay tuned for this things could change uh, but at this point we're watching invest 91l which could have a potential impact on the northern gulf coast here and taking a look at the extended outlook for my hometown viewers bingham to scranton's upper susquehanna region of upstate new york into northeast pennsylvania here we go saturday all the way through wednesday takes us through the whole labor day weekend into the middle of next week we have sunny skies for saturday this is your best day of the weekend 74 degrees low humidity a nice cold start too the, if you're looking for some nice sleeping weather it's sunday that front moves in we have up to a half an inch of rain this is probably your indoor type of day, 71 degrees, kind of a lazy day, dreary day to say the least. We might not even get to 70. In some places with the clouds and the rain, Labor Day, look at that. We only have about a 30 to 40% chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. So this is not an all-day rain event. So if you have outdoor plans, get out there and enjoy it. And Tuesday, Wednesday, if you do have a extended Labor Day weekend, look at that. Tuesday, 76, beautiful. Wednesday, another chance of showers, late day. Up with the 76 again. As always, I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Eastern and Hurricane Eastern. Don't forget to give my Facebook page some love, Medio Mark, also Weather Northeastern, also Hurricane Northeastern. And you can visit my Twitter page at WX Northeastern. And as always, don't forget the description down below. There is a link to my Hurricane 2021 outlook. It's still the more valid as ever. We're right on target. And question or comment down below, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And smash the bell button so you're alerted when I come out with one of these videos.